Hi quilters, if you've never experienced a retreat with us, we thought we'd give you a quick overview of how our quilt retreat for spring of 2022 went. We arrive about a week before our camp starts so that we can vend for another gal who has a quilt camp there at the same spot. Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp has the perfect setup for a quilt retreat. It's got a dining hall, it's got rooms for people to stay in, and it's also got great facility for the people to have a place to sew. We often refer to it as quilt camp because we're at a Bible camp. So instead of saying quilt retreat all the time, we'll just refer to it as quilt camp. Our camp started on a Thursday morning and retreaters could arrive anytime after 9 a.m. We've got a place for everyone to sew and a place for everyone to sleep. They could unload close to the room where they were going to sew, and we have carts to help them get everything moved in. Most are sewing within the hour they arrive, so they're excited to be there and they're motivated to start getting things done. It's very inspiring to see all the different projects that they're working on. Meals are provided three times a day at Quilt Retreat. Our first meal was Thursday lunch. Breakfast every day was at 8.30, lunch at 1 o'clock, and supper at 6 p.m. The last meal we had was Sunday, a really good hot breakfast. Every lunch and supper include a full salad bar. No one leaves hungry, and Chef Chad is able to help anyone with special dietary needs. They also have an ice machine and a spot to fill a water bottle. There's also tea and coffee available next to the ice machine. The food was delicious, and I think anytime I don't have to cook a meal, it is a bonus, so there's always more time for sewing when you don't have to cook. While everyone is sewing, Deanne will go from room to room to do some demos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but good pattern. How does it hook in the back on the top? It doesn't, it just slips. Deanne will show them the latest and greatest that we have in the quilt shop. Sometimes it's hard to see everything in there because the shop is a little bit smaller. So this gives Deanne a chance to go around and talk to everybody and show them what's new and show them something they maybe hadn't seen in the shop. They hear the cart coming and they know it's time to take a little break and see some new stuff. So I can just show people how you roll your cart from... <laughs> Very industrious group here. <laughs> Lots of projects on the table. That's a good thing. Lots of fun. Even projects on the floor. Get the angle. Get get the angle from this end of the room. Those machines are humming. The machines are humming and the irons are hot. There you go. <laughs> All right, just down the hallway here is another space. Got a little walk, which is nice. You don't even have to go outside between the rooms, especially when it's cold outside. Makes it very easy to get around and handicap accessible because it's a ramp, not steps. And there's a room up here. They have design walls outside where they can kind of get things organized and ironing boards in the hallway. So they can fit lots of people in this room. Hello, everybody. Hi. Are we getting a lot done today? Woo, she's got her shirt on. Woohoo. <laughs> Jeannie's been here for a whole week, plus a few days. Oh, we like the newbies. They're the best. Basically, our schedule at camp is wake up, sew, eat breakfast, sew, eat lunch, sew, eat supper, sew, eat snacks, and sew. Well, they do a little shopping, too. They can shop at our full-service quilt shop just off the dining hall that's right there at camp, and they shop as often as they want. The store is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
or later, daily. The camp is located in a beautiful setting, so there's always opportunities when it's nice to get a walk in or just spend time reading or talking with friends. I mentioned we don't go hungry, didn't I? On the last night after supper, we had show and tell. It was a good chance for us to all gather together and show what we had been working on and the things that we had accomplished while we were at Quilt Retreat. Mindy was available to give us manicures or pedicures. Some of us even got haircuts. It's always a treat to be pampered while you're at camp. At every quilt retreat, the campers get a swag bag. This spring, the swag bag contained a hot or cold cup to use at the coffee or water station, a charm pack, a ruler with a pattern, a mini scissor, a pen, and the official camp t-shirt. When the shopping is done and camp is over, it's time to pack up all of our things and head back home. It's always a sad sort of moment. We had a great camp and we can't wait to do it again. We will get home, we will put everything away, and then we will start planning for next time because we can't wait to come back to Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp and have another great quilt retreat. At our quilt retreat, we had campers from Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, and a great time was had by all. One of the retreaters was attending her first retreat ever with a friend. Next time, she's bringing more friends. Our next camp will be held in September of 2022. Thanks for watching and happy quilting!